welcome back everyone to another video and in this one we'll be taking a look at loon os running on the raspberry pi 3 and yes we have the raspberry pi 3 out once more um so the issue is uh, this os is based on um, web os and web os has its own history uh, as a pam top or a tv os that never really made it uh, it was popular once but now has died down quite a bit but web os ports is uh, is a group that is working on porting the somewhat modified web os to different devices and raspberry pi 3 is one of them sadly it only requ it uh, requires a touch screen to operate and uh, a few years back i didn't have that so now that i own a touch screen uh, why not go ahead and look at it finally so this image is a few years old so just keep that in mind and um, yeah I, I'll probably link the image down in the description or something but uh, let's just take a look for now all right so here is the um, boot splash screen so it's called loon os and um, and here we have the main home screen and as you might have noticed it's a bit on the edge it's not really set for um, a widescreen setup or something but um, it doesn't really fit that well on the screen and for that same reason if I touch on the edge the actual touch is somewhere in the edge of the displayed screen rather than the edge of the screen so the touch offset is a bit weird but uh, I think it should be fine again this image is originally created for the official Raspberry Pi touch screen which may might have something to do why the touch is off and why the display looks weird but nevertheless uh, we can always look at what we have and I can um, open up the app drawer so to speak and uh, those are the few apps that come preloaded um, contacts web is your browser and everything else in between let's take a look at the photos app or the calculator right whatever wants to open up pretty basic uh, to close the app I think you swipe down or swipe left or right or something right so you just touch the uh, bar below and the app minimizes so you can uh, swipe it up uh, more or less this is actually running on mesa for the gpu um, so i can't really go ahead and edit the config.txt to get the screen to the actual size so what i can actually do to check out if the web works is to use an ethernet cable and just go at it plug in the ethernet and see what the performance looks like that's it plugged in should be connected to the network now uh, let's open up the web browser come on there it is um, so g and then see i can uh, never mind so I'll, I'll actually have to kind of adjust the uh, offset myself uh, that should be I or L and E okay and dot com let's see if this works hey there we go that does work so um yeah browser works no surprises there again the screen touch offset is a bit too much and all right what else do we have a uh, memos app so you can create your notes and whatnot so i guess this would have been a pretty decent uh os for a tablet all right so this is how you multitask on it uh, it just adds new apps to the list and I can uh oh that wasn't what I intended to do the package manager 
and see what all packages we have and maybe we can find something interesting so as you can see since there is a network connection now it's downloading the repositories um, install packages are zero I think I just clicked on available packages maybe maybe not who knows uh, there is no way to go back available packages six Let's see what they are nothing oh, okay entertainment one location and travel one news productivity and social network what's there uh, Twitter web app uh, Trello web app that could be useful let's see install install there we go that was quick probably a shortcut of some sort um, and I mean how do you go back that is what I want to know. So the build system for this operating system is basically on Bitbake. So Yocto and OE, uh, all of that good stuff, that works. Uh, I did try to build the latest one. Sadly, that didn't end up booting all that well um, for, I don't know why. Let's, let's uh, try and install some more packages and see what we've got. Now we can uh, swipe up to the app drawer again and we can see we have Twitter, Trello and YouTube. There it is. Um, let's open up Twitter and see what's going on. So um, do I really need to log in or I mean you can. Oh, that. Um, yeah, I don't really want to log in. So again, you can see it's it's a Twitter app. Um, works sort of. And uh, why 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 did I close the apps? Uh, we have Trello. Let's see what's that about. Again, it would ask me to log in. Probably, it makes more sense for Trello to log in before you use. Um, and honestly less sense for something like Twitter because you can still browse Twitter if you're not logged in. YouTube. I hope that doesn't want us to log in. Oh good, it's just the YouTube mobile website. Um, let's search. right so that's kind of weird it doesn't really seem to be um keyboard seem to be all over the place let's let's play this ad see it's it's kind of stuttery it's okay it's not high quality or anything but i mean um it works And I have no idea why I'm playing ads. So yeah, um, a neat little experimental OS at best uh, is what I'd say. Uh, whenever it comes to any tablet based or or, or, or uh, mobile based operating system, all I ever say is that it needs to have a good app ecosystem and just having six apps is not a good app ecosystem of course you can create your app own apps for it but uh, you can do only so much uh, or just use gnu linux os on a tab i think that's a pretty neat solution to most of the issue if you don't want to use aosp or anything um, so that's about it thank you for watching it's actually a 19 minute long recording, but I, I honestly think it will be reduced to like 10 minutes, 5 minutes because half of the time I was just struggling with the keyboard with the weird touch offset. But apart from that, it's still pretty neat. Um, but not sadly not as a regular use OS. 
So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.